welcome guys and girls. Hope you guys are doing good. Um, <coughs> just cooking breakfast at the moment in my air fryer. It's going to take like 20, 25 minutes. I'm downstairs at the moment as well. Welcome guys and girls, welcome to the live stream. It's just coming up to 12 o'clock and I'm doing some breakfast at the moment, so... What's Article 16? <clears throat> oh, Donald Cropper, cheers for the follow. Appreciate it. I'll follow you back as well. I hope you're doing good this morning. <clears throat> oh, should there be an Irish seaborner? No idea, to be honest, actually. That's good. Uh, no, no, no. Donna meats for breakfast. I'm doing some chicken actually for breakfast. Uh, vegan chicken. I delivered my shopping. That's cool, man. I like my technology, to be honest. Well, I've actually suffered from acne uh, since I was a teenager. I'm 34 now. Do you still have your electric bike? Yeah, I still got it, man. Still got it. Yeah, I've just followed you, by the way. Uh just put a follow on for you. Can you open your eyes, please? What well, is open? They are open. They're just like sort sort of I can see. Not everyone's got the same eyes, you know. Ah, uh, cheers for the follow. <coughs> yeah, they are open. Not everyone can sort of like everyone's got different size eyes. Mine's like mine can sort of go like open. If I open and force them, I force them like that. Uh, they automatically just shut for some reason. I don't know. It's just the way uh, my eyes are. Where are your ears? Well, behind the back of my head. I only got a little tiny ears. And anyway, my ears are not that big. I can hear you. Well, when people talk, at least. 
How is he reading the chat with his eyes closed? They're not closed. They're open. So if I look like this. It's like when I look down, because I'm looking down, my eyes literally feel like they're actually closed, but they're not. They're open. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to get a haircut soon, but not yet at the moment. Got so much shit going on at the moment in life, so... I'm actually down here at the moment because I've got my brother getting fucking pissed at the moment, so not good. We are nose twins. Well, that's good. What's your favourite crisp? Mm. I don't know. That's a hard one, actually. Used to like red and salted. And then I used to like prawn cocktail until I turned vegan. Uh, but I started uh, eating those, like, vegan ones. Uh, what they're called. Like salt and vinegar, almost. T what's that? TBF. I don't care. That's cool, man. Each of their own. Get him telt. Hope everyone's having a good morning. Oh, you're right, Alex, Andra, how you doing? What's this? A uh, lot of the Walkers meat flavoured crisps aren't even made with meat, I don't think. Yeah, but they're still vegetarian, so I don't touch any of them. Yeah, and I'm vegan, so basically. They'll have some sort of animal products on it or dairy or some shit, so. How's your morning? Uh, well, I got up about, oh, I can't remember what time I got up. I think I got about 7 o'clock this morning, and now it's 11.48. I'm just doing some, I'm only just doing some breakfast, so. I've got my air fryer on at the moment. Hello, uncle. Mm, don't know, someone's uncle at least, anyway. Happy birthday, mate. Well, it's not even my birthday until March, so... Unless it's someone else you're on about. Early rise, good on you. Yeah, I mean, I went to um, sleep a little bit later last night. If it was, like, just coming up to 10 o'clock. But I still got a good, decent amount of sleep and all that. Do you know what? Since my mum passed away, I seem to be getting into this new routine where I'm sleeping earlier than normal and shit. It's like... It's kind of weird. Um, what are you making in the air fryer? Right, so I've got some vegan chicken in there. Um, from some sort of Tesco, not Tesco's brand, but um, it's like a vegan, it's called Vegan No Chicken. And I've put that in for 30 minutes. So I've got some roast potatoes in there. And I've got some fries in there. I'm going to do some baked beans to go with it. And that's going to be my breakfast for today. Put your hands up, put your hands up. <laughs> oh, definitely, man. Actually, oh, who's that? Is that the... No, who's that bandit son? son uh, um, is it something dragon? Welcome, guys and girls, and ones and new coming in. Oh, Imagine Dragons. Yeah, I tell you what, that's a good one. I've been playing that on um, VR, uh, where you're doing all the Beat Saber stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, what's your plans for today? Well, I'm trying to get my room, my bedroom sorted out at the moment, so I can get to my bedroom cupboard and then sort all some of the stuff out there, because I've got loads of DVDs that I want to give to charity and all that. 
uh, just to throw away and all that. Because um, I've got, uh, what's it called, Crash and Burn and all the Robot Cop films, uh, the original cheap versions of the DVDs, not the, the, the original ones with Peter Weller. Um, this was like they made their own versions. It was like based off the TV show. <clears throat> Mr. Yeast. Oh, too, uh, too much, too much, too much Jack followed you. I'll follow you back, man. Thank you for the follow. There we go. I've got, like, loads of DVDs in the cupboard at the moment, like, packed away, and some of them are in boxes I've got to sort out. Um, I've got my half-brother bloody uh, just woken up. Oh, Kieran, thank you for the follow, man. No. Yeah, I threw all mine when I moved house, apart from the Disney ones. Yeah, I think I've got a couple of Disney movies, actually. Uh, I've got a box in the attic. Ah, OK. Ah, oh, it's my brother coming. Well, my half-brother coming down to disturb me again. Um, uh, I've got my other brother who's getting pissed up at the moment, so that's why I've come down here, because the other one's getting drunk. What are you doing? I'm talking to myself now, bugger off. You went out early, didn't you? What do you mean? I didn't even go out. I haven't been out at all. I'm, what do you mean? I'm live streaming. Again? No, I'm live streaming. Uh, I'm cooking my breakfast yeah, at the moment. That's what I was on about, that. No, that's my printer. That's um, oh, Darren's printer. Because yeah. he's just got that through the post. Oh, fucking hell. I'm not having a shower tonight. No, well, shut the door anyway, behind you. Just having a shower tonight. Oh, Darren's getting pissed anyway. He's probably, a, he's probably asleep. No, he's not asleep. I'm just seeing him walking to, uh, to the toilet. And then, yeah, whatever. Go on, bugger off and shut the door behind you. He's getting out bloody early for. What do you mean, what? Because I went to sleep early, that's why. <laughs> he did. He? Yeah, I did. I went to sleep at half nine last night. Uh, I'm not having a shower tonight because I just have a shave because the towels need water. Take that there out of the wall. It's all right. It's all right. Nothing else. Are you in jail? Uh, not that I know of. <clears throat> Just my half brother coming down, disturbing me. Fucking hell. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Mm. I've got my uh, one brother, he's getting pissed at the moment. And what he tends to do, he tends to not go to the toilet and just pisses on the carpet. And, like, uh, you kind of wonder why he, like, pisses on the carpet. Rather than going to the toilet. That's when he's drunk, though. Uh, Noonster, thank you for following. What? Yeah, yeah. He actually pisses on the carpet by his in his bedroom. Uh, and this is the reason why I want my own place, to be honest. Like, he gets drunk. Um, and it's like, he can't even walk ten foot. To the toilet, it's ten foot from his bedroom to the toilet. It's ten foot and ten foot back. Haven't you got a bog? Yeah, we got fucking two toilets in the house, and he can't even get up and go. What the thing is, right? Yeah, kick him out. We've tried. Uh, my mum tried that when she was alive, um, and the police don't want to do anything. Um, nothing really, they don't want to do anything, they can't get involved, they said he gets drunk and stuff and all that, that's down to him and all that, getting drunk. <sighs> oh, cheers for the follow, Big Josh. I don't, I don't drink, I don't smoke and I don't take drugs, because I don't want to uh, end up like that, freaking all that. <clears throat> Bedroom must be reeking of pish. Or oh, piss, yeah. Well, to be honest, like, he goes on a bender, like, five days a week. And says he's not an alcoholic and says he doesn't drink, so... Uh, just lies to himself. And this is the reason why I want my own place, really, and all that. 
So that way I don't have to put up with his crap no more. You can only take so much. I've um I've been we've been with him since well I've been with him since thirty four years with him. And he's in like he's ten years older than me. So he'd be thirty yeah, thirty four this year. No, not thirty four, I'm saying forty four this year. Uh, why don't you fight uh, fight him? Well, he does martial arts. I've got heart problems and anyway. I'm not risking myself and all that. I'll just let him do what he does in his room. And when I get my own place and all that, I don't have to have him come around and shit. Is he not house trained? Uh, no, he doesn't even help around the house at all. Like, he like it try and sort of become sarcastic as well. He's very, very sarcastic. You can not afford your own place. Well, at the moment, um, the housing people are actually helping to get involved. But they want me to so basically go on this website to check for a house and all that. Um, is he paying rent? Uh, no, he doesn't pay any rent. He doesn't pay any money into the house. Uh, he's not even done that for the 20 years that he's been here. So, um, my half-brother, right, I have to look after his money uh, for my half-brother. So, I look after his, it goes into my bank, and then because of his disabilities, he's got mental uh, disabilities. I've got mental health problems myself, I've got heart problems, and I'm basically looking after him for the time being. But what we're doing at the moment is I'm getting a social worker to basically find a place for my half-brother, so that way he's got a place where... If he's got his own like room, but then if he wants to sort of talk to people, um, he can go into like a little river um room. So uh do you get a conservator conservator wage from your brother? Uh what do you mean conservator? Uh, we don't get any money off him. He doesn't pay any into the house. Doesn't even pay the rent. I have to bet he pay it all out myself because he uses his money for alcohol and all that. The alcoholic one. Uh, yeah, mate. Uh, how you doing today? Oh, uh, all right, Terry. Yeah, I'm not doing too bad, man. Uh, do you pay into the house? I pay into the house. But I had to take out the money that of my disability money and all that to pay it. Um, how do you afford the rent? Well, we've got a four-bedroom house that we live in. Um, the one's empty now because my mum's not here. She passed away in September. Uh, so we've got a spare bedroom. And they said we've got to pay, I think, give or take, I think it's like um, £17 each or something. That's... Um, on a week, uh, I know that's in seventeen pound for all of us. I think it is. All right, but at the moment it works out like um, I think the lady said it was like thirty five pound each a month. So I don't know what that is, but what I'm doing is I'm saving some money up and putting some aside. Um, for the rent and all that, so I'm putting a certain amount. I got I'm not really worried. Actually, I think that's hair and all that. I got my nose, got loads of hair in my nose. Right. Um. So at the moment, um, whilst we are still here, um, in the house, um. I've got a rent card, I think, it's supposed to be coming in two weeks' time. Not not who's a... Me. Me who? <clears throat> Open the door. <laughs> But yeah, it's, um, 
up and down really actually you know, it's, uh, it's 12 o'clock now so i'll be doing dinner in a minute um i well, not dinner actually technically breakfast and all that uh but anyway hope you guys and girls are doing well just uh spent 300 to hire a limousine and discovered that the fee didn't include a driver jesus man that's bad you didn't it be on that uh cannot believe i spent that money and i have absolutely nothing to show for it ah oh, yeah that is a great that is a great joke man lovely fantastic man uh what's your favorite takeaway in western um i'd say probably burger king um i like burger king actually you could probably tell but anyway i hope you guys and girls are having a lovely morning actually it's uh just gone one minute past now so it's afternoon now uh that's me heading out now man have a great day take care of yourself yeah i'll be getting off in a minute myself because uh my thing's uh about to be done as soon as i hear that ding yeah i shouldn't be eating burger kings yeah definitely man when you have a heart condition but if I work it off, yeah, I can eat what I fucking like, to be honest, if I'm sort of going to start doing exercise. Um, need to go out, but hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, Karen, uh, you stay safe as well, man. Have a nice day. Oh, you're right, Donna. Welcome back. Welcome back. I'll be getting off in a minute myself. Any, I'll probably be coming back on later, but um, because I need to get some food, which I've got in my air fryer right now. Mhm. Mm mm. How are you? Uh, you sound like you're stuffed with cold. A little bit, um, but I'm downstairs at the moment because my brother is getting fucking drunk at the moment as well, and like, oh, he's he's a so and so he is. So that's why I come down here for a bit of peace and quiet. He like binge drinks. Um, he's been binge drinking um, since like last night, so since about seven eight o'clock, and he's still drinking now. He goes on to these like little chat rooms and stuff, talking to people. So and uh, sometimes he's very, very um, not aggressive, but very um, verbally abusive uh, towards you. He's very abusive, um, verbally abusive towards my mum a lot of the times and stuff. He used to call her all the names under the sun, and. Um, when she passed away at the hospital, I asked him if he wanted to come down to the hospital to see her for the last time. He didn't even um, turn up. He didn't even come. <sighs> oh, getting itchy nose. <sighs> yeah, he needs to stop drinking and talk. I mean, I've told him a few times. I said, look, you need to stop drinking alcohol. But then he says to me and all that, I don't drink. And then start, yeah, domestic abuse, that is, uh, that is anything. Yeah, it definitely is. But verbally, he does a lot of verbal shit and tries to put the blame on you and stuff and goes to his friends on these, like, chat rooms and tries to talk shit about you and all that. But when we're trying to sort of help him and all that shit. Ah, uh, Phaser5, thanks for the follow. I'll follow you back. He used to, like, beat my dad up and stuff um, when my dad was alive. Uh, back uh, past about 95, 96. He's got a lot of problems. Official Ian... Oh, oh I thought I said Ian. 
uh, lamb sauce, official lamb sauce, followed the host. Cheers to the follow, man. Appreciate it. But yeah, he's like, he's got some serious problems. He's had a lot of problems when he's uh, when he was young um, at school and all that. Um, he um, went to one of his psychiatrists one day and they wouldn't even see him again because he threatened to basically beat the fuck up um, the actual psychologist up and all that, or psychiatrist. Some people don't deserve help. Stay strong, mate. Yeah, I mean, I, I stay strong as much as I can. Uh, and I've taken a lot off him and all that, a lot of his abuse and shit. And uh, he went on the internet a few months going back. This was um, when my mum was alive at the time, about four months going back. And um, he thought we were talking about him. And then he goes to his friends, oh, it's all right. I could kill him, I could. I could slit his throat easily. They're basically talking about me and all that. And I thought, fuck, I'm not having that shit. So I phoned the police up about it. They don't want even want to do it as well. Because apparently it's to do with uh, his drinking. But it's also, it's um, a family dispute. So the police don't even want to get involved. And I know it's his drinking and shit. But the thing is, he doesn't want to talk about it. So... And there's some things that is gone on in his life that he needs to start talking about. Yeah, that is threatening. Um, yeah, that is threatening. I know. Um, but he's always been like that. He's uh, abusive. Um, his relationships with women um, are ten to none because um, he's had like loads of women, but. Uh, quite a few of them that he's basically beaten up and all that. Um, but this is one he's, like, been drinking and stuff. Um, and the thing is, I, I said to myself at the end of the day, even if you're drinking alcohol at the end of the day, if you're going around beating women up, that shouldn't be an excuse and all that. Like... You can't blame the drink for your actions. Your actions have consequences at the end of the day. And if, basically, even if you drink, right, yeah, okay, yeah, it's making you sort of giving you these ideas in your head, but it's you is acting on these actions in the first place. And any bloke who goes around and puts their hand on a woman is a fucking pure coward. I mean, I, w I was brought up differently as a child and stuff myself uh, compared to my other brother and all that. Cheers, man. Thank you, Michael. But I think it's like no blokes should be putting their hands on like women at all. How is your morning? Um, up and down, up and down. Afternoon now, yes, yeah, so nine minutes past. <coughs> yeah, doing good. Not even during nookie time, what the hell? Mm. Right, my food is pretty much done because I've just did it like go like five minutes ago. Uh, doing good though, up and down, trying to get by as each day as I come. But when I get my own place, I will be it'd be more tranquil for me and stuff because at least then I don't have to worry about everybody else. Um, I'm thinking of going live. Yeah, you should, man. You should go live. I'll tell you what, it builds your confidence up as well. And you need to build your confidence up as well. And I'll tell you what, uh, to some point, this is a confidence builder. Yeah. 
and I can hear him moving around upstairs. So he's still wait, still getting pissed. <sighs> Michael's my friend Anthony. Ah, that's cool, man. I hope you two are doing okay and all that, doing great. Have we known each other for long? <clears throat> ah, long enough, yeah? That's cool. That's cool. Not really a couple of days. <laughs> mm. Are your eyes open? Yeah, they're open. My eyes are open. I've just got like small little squinty little eyes. Oh, actually, I think it's Saturday, yeah, Saturday today. So I think the other part of Doctor Who is supposed to be on today. Or maybe was it tomorrow? Might be tomorrow because I love watching Doctor Who. Yeah, and actually, my eyes are open. It's just like they're like sort of closed off and what. <clears throat> Elf bar, you've been smoking on. Gotta pop to the shop. Well, I'll talk to you guys and girls later. Because I'm going to be getting off a minute, get have some breakfast, and I'll probably do another live stream this afternoon sometime. You both stay safe. And catch you later as well, Donna. And Michael as well. I'll be back. We'll do it.